All right, let's find that damn phone. And maybe die a few more times. Dying seems pretty easy in this game. Holy shit. Like that that fight was taking me down earlier. Oh god. Stop that. One of these. Oh. Headshot. Travel costs. Reminder, RE drafting any public facing material. Nope. It wasn't going to the right thing. Week 83 report. Visit the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn. Big Sky Motel. Starlight Motel. In and out. In and out. As the Court Sleepy Bear Motel. Silver Spurs Ranch. Elgato Blanco Inn. A Plus Lodge. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. The little whiskeys from the motels that cost like a ton, probably. What the fuck am I- what's happening over here? Okay, don't go in there. That, that doesn't- that doesn't go well. That doesn't go well, apparently. Thank you for the healing. Past me who earned it. <laughs> Headshots are really effective if you can do them. Got him. Whew. What do we got here? Hiss barrier. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barrier appear as, why, as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Or two, destroy the hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to the file. The only person you should fail is yourself. It's under reports. There's two portraits of the same guy. So there's like structures I can deal with that'll give me access. Oh. This might be it. Okay, the series of floating people that are all giving me silhouettes in that kind of pattern. Definitely making me think of uh, the upcoming Death Stranding. Nope. Approved terminal. Nope. What, what's the new item? Oh, there it is. Machine God. I had a dream. And I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know. Or the ones anyone knows. 
A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator, and the coils from my toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate. On God. <laughs> huh. Drinks. Eh. <laughs> it's a satisfying amount of physics going on there. What even are these, and why do they exist, I wonder? Oh, what is that? Ah! Whoop. Where are they at? There they are. There's a few of them. There we go. I'm perhaps adapting to the aiming a bit. The loot's too frequent, so I don't think I'm going to stop every time I loot something. I get new things added in a lot, and they're already turning out to be like minor percentage differences from other items I already found. Good thing there's notifications of where these are, because I sure as hell can't see them. Trench. Dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will prove an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the, para the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how unknown, how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information of suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So, thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Hmm. Collection of delinquent mail. So something about writing a it's like it sounds like something about writing about AWEs leads to the mail being undeliverable. Like it loses its, maybe it loses its destination or something like this weird errant mystery mail. So we started collecting it all in one place. Gotcha. Oh. I heard a grenade, but I had no idea where it was. That was concerning. We clear? I think we're clear. What an insane location. Oh, hey. Just 
just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. A floppy disk that's telekinetic. This company loves their live action so much. They can't help themselves. Neat. Navigate through the communications d depot. Department. Not depot. I'm still not cool enough for this stuff. I don't have the clearance level. And apparently I need the clearance level. I don't need stairs. Dead presidents. I wish it would automatically open whatever I pressed G for instead of bringing me here. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. <laughs> this is strangely endearing. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. Did Theodore Roosevelt know anything about lawnmowers, though? I mean, sure. Why not, I guess. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my telekinetic abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I, knew, I know the White House could use me. You're an earnest. James Bartholomew. Ah, he's immediately trying to weasel his way into power, though. That's how actual leaders have been in the history. They've been like, I am the voice of God or some other equivalent. Oh my God, physics. And so they think, well, I, I am the chosen one who knows the right answer, so you should all, you all have to listen to me. It's dangerous to give somebody that kind of absolute authority, the kind you would be tempted to give somebody who is the, the combi combination of all previous presidents, for example. Hello, uh, at uh, Book Club Penny. Hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. I've never been in a book club or any kind of organized let's all talk about a book thing. What the hell?
be looked out for. We'll find your mama together. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did she shift from being protagonisty to antagonisty? What the fuck? Company's lost their goddamn minds. Also, doors just open in front of people, and that's tripping me out because they like they open like violently and fast too. It even happened during the cutscene where I was talking to the other ladies, so it's like just a normal thing, not just a gameplay mechanic, but like it's how the doors work around here. We'll find your mother together. Uh. Oh, hello. It's very dark back here. Singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem, and you gotta send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. Not a real fish. It sings when you hit a fish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wasn't ready for the clarification that the singing fish isn't a real fish. <laughs> it sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Like the devil went down to Georgia. And the nights went down lights went out in Georgia. It's very Georgia oriented. Sets a lot of cuss words. <laughs> the devil got in my house because of the fish, and you gotta come handle it. My wife's a real upset. When can you come? Sincerely Dwayne Barr. What's an upset? Your wife's a real upset. Oh, you're right. Your wife's really upset. Gotcha. Why is there a fucking tripping hazard in this staircase? I don't... I got, somebody in a wheelchair can't go up and down that, right? Like, that's too steep. That's like a... That's like a dick move. So it's not like it's that. It's just like someone who's trying to use the steps is just gonna go... Whoop, ah! Because they think it's stairs and it's not. I'm pretty sure you have to be like half that steepness to be wheelchair accessible. Oh yeah, here's the letters. Oh, hi. Okay, that's a lot of uh, damage soak you've got there. If you could stop that. That'd be nice. Uh, how did I change perspectives again? I don't remember. Oh, I thought there was a guy right there. There kind of is. Ah! Good to know. I can get him through walls. Or cover. Ah! Shit. Ah. God damn. For a game that I don't think has like a cover system or, he or heals or anything, like you take some damage. This is going to take some practice. Oh, these are fast travel spots. Apparently. <laughs> They're not wrong about moving objects.
There we go. It seems the secret to winning fights is that they're bad at aiming. So if you run a lot, they seem to miss. Hello. Energy boost mod. Unstable area notice. Oh, this time it opened to the right one. Please be aware. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, the area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart, green is stable, yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. So if a building shift is anticipated, that means it doesn't qualify towards the warning system? So they specified unanticipated all three times. Uh... Are these supposed to be shelters? Oh, shit. Sorry about that. I don't... Woo. Exploded. Did they get rid of the bad stuff at all? But there's a thing in the back. Dang it. Nope. It's gonna get me killed. Right, where are we? Whoa, you can move while it's up. Whoa. Like Diablo. That door is sealed. That door is sealed. There's the bad place again. I'm still unworthy. That's the elevator I used to get in here, isn't it? That's Nixon. That's Nixon. My gun's gone. I think that's the moment I came into the peaceful area though, right? Shifted bathroom complaint. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> if you can't find, if you can't figure it, if you can't bring it back, at least figure out where it went. Maybe we can move you to another bathroom adjacent location. Huh. A lot of that. United States of America Federal Bureau of Control Department of Unhuman Affairs. Technological restrictions. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or admit any bleh signal. Why is that censored? 
Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blip for the oldest house to blip them. The power of collective unconscious. It seems to be referring to the weirdness of how they're talking about how they can, like, they can create urban legends. Like, the, the, the pe what people think or don't think or whatever. Seems to affect the rules here. Kind of like in the story, in the series Fables, aka Wolf Among Us. Like the the fairy tale characters kind of generated their power in a, in a way from their people believing them at all, in them and believing in them at all. Similarly, these items have not been known to become respect uh, receptacles for altered status. Technology, technolo uh, technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blip to occur. Modern techno technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blip agents have been in injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the old oldest house. Why is agents censored? Huh. Considering how much stuff is is available in these messages that seems like it should be not publicly available i wonder why some of these words specifically are censored because they don't seem like that would be worth doing fuck fuck ah it's the only door i didn't see locations are on the right track uh, <laughs> i'm gonna get calm once i'm out there one welcome to the comms department this guy's probably dead, considering what I've heard. Yeah, I, this 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 screws with me. R changes. Oh, damn! Canisters, they're evil. It screws with me that you reload over time automatically. So like R is change camera shoulders, which is weird. You're uh. You alright, sir? Oh, he's doing the thing where he lays down and his eyes are still open. I don't think that means his eyes are... Yeah, he's probably not okay. This is... Alright. <laughs> just I'm just accepting it at this point. Ah! Can you stop? Reach the object of power. <gasps> Is it the floppy disk is throwing stuff? It seems way stronger than before it went through pencils and cups. This seems worse. I don't even know what you use these for yet. These resources. Okay. Seems to throw th three things at once. Or in a row, I mean. That's when you want to run, is between each three. Okay, I can't get up there from this direction. What do I oh, oh, the cover's breaking! Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's a problem. Do I just run into it? Hit F! F! It is the floppy disk. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. 
Oh, holdy. Releasey. Neat. Ooh. Ooh, it's all got that nice, that nice look of crystal formations. Even when it's broken, it breaks in that kind of pattern. That's neat. Into the hole slot. Oof. I called it a thingamajig. It said thingamajig out loud. Ah. The problem with not being voice acted is that it's hard to... It's easier for me to miss the subtitles about what it, the director what, what it wants to say. Woohoo! Well, this seems pretty effective to complement my existing abilities. also significantly easier to aim, since I don't have to aim it at all. It's another, it's another meter to maintain. Another cooldown. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? There. Oof. Bad time for you. Damn. Crushed. Oh, shit. Oh my god, now I'm attacking from the perspective of the thing that I was coming after. That's funny. You have a shotgun. You have bad attack range. He's coming though. He's coming. Oh, I don't have an. I don't have an escape vector. If I do, we just just, just jump down here. Oh, this changed things. This kind of explains why this game had so much attention given to random physics objects, like, I, and a little bit of jankiness. Like, I've been, like, knocking stuff around, and it's like, I walk into a room and the coffee machine falls over, I'm like, I didn't even touch that. But there's active physics on so many objects because of the fact that I have a physics-based attack that unlocks, like, a, the, immediately in the game. That's kind of a big deal. And I only went everywhere except for the door I needed to go through several times. I keep pressing R, I can't stop. Well, the body's gone. Oh, maybe he got back up. But as a bad guy. Seriously, like, hundreds of people must have died. Like, I'm gonna be fighting these possessed people all game? They're all living employees that die when I kill them. That well, they're dead already, arguably. But either way, like those those are each a life. That's brutal. That's so many people. Book Club Samson. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, unless you, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers within gun space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring plant planets like cheap sushi in a sundae, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade a city planet and convert the entire population using those giant those brain worms? And that space dog fight with between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. 
kind of ruined the whole thing was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. <laughs> base. Flowers and guns. Space hippies. The flowers and guns stereotype speaks to when people were protesting the Vietnam War. So that's a weird thing to mock. Like, I don't, I don't know a lot of people that are proud of the Vietnam War at this point, right?